Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Harry Potter Theory. In this video, we'll be discussing Voldemort's heritage, or more specifically, his blood relation to a certain other character you may know. If you don't know the story of the Deathly Hallows, well, you should probably do your homework. But for the sake of the video, I'll give you a brief summary. The tale of the Deathly Hallows tells the story of three brothers, Antioch, Cadmus, and Ignotus. The brothers were all members of the famous Peveril family. The plot surrounds the three wizard brothers and their ability to cheat death for a short period of time. After conquering death, a personification of death, under the guise of congratulating them, awarded them with three gifts. The Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Invisibility Cloak. Long story short, each brother chose one of the gifts that death had presented them. Ignotus, the youngest, chose the Invisibility Cloak. Cadmus, the middle brother, chose the Resurrection Stone. And Antioch, the eldest, chose the Elder Wand. Death eventually found Antioch, who chose the Elder Wand, and Cadmus, who chose the Resurrection Stone. But Ignotus, who chose the Invisibility Cloak, was able to avoid death by hiding in his cloak. Something very interesting that you may not know about this story, however, is that Voldemort is actually related to the brother who chose the Resurrection Stone, Cadmus. Though it is a distant relation, we know a few things that can help us make this connection. The main one being that Voldemort's grandfather, Marvolo Gaunt, possessed a ring that was passed down in the family for generations. The ring contained the symbol of the Hallows inscribed on a stone. And this stone is of course the same one that Cadmus possessed. So while it originated with Cadmus, it was passed down through generations of the Gaunt family. What is even more interesting, however, is that Ignotus, the youngest brother and recipient of the Invisibility Cloak, was actually the relative of none other than Harry Potter. We know that the Invisibility Cloak was passed down to Harry from his father, but what wasn't originally revealed was that this same cloak was passed down over generations, starting with Ignotus. So if Ignotus and Cadmus are brothers, then that of course means that Voldemort and Harry Potter are actually related. Isn't it ironic that mortal enemies with such opposing agendas turned out to both be descendants of the Peverils? The only thing stopping Voldemort from world domination was his cousin. Another argument that I've heard for them being related is the fact that Voldemort used Harry's blood in his regeneration potion. Voldemort in his crippled state utilized the regeneration potion to restore his strength and former stature. This potion, of course, requires bone of father, flesh of servant, and blood of a foe. This blood, of course, being Harry's. The problem with this argument is that they are already related, so it wouldn't have made them any more related. Also, I'm not sure that regenerating your body with someone else's blood makes you related to them. If I got a blood transfusion, I wouldn't be related to that person. Anyway, all you need to know is that Harry and Voldemort are distant cousins and both descendants of the Peverils. That's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like to support the channel. If you have any questions or video ideas, leave them down below. Until next time, you're a wizard Harry!